Connor, here we go, a new head coach here at Wales. It's the beginning of a new football season as well. It feels very much like first week back in school, new vibes. What have the past couple of days been like on camp? Yeah, just that. I think a lot of excitement, a lot of interested players to what is expected, what's to come. And uh, yeah, we're all looking forward to it. First game Friday night and the sooner we can listen to what the manager and his staff has to say, then the sooner we can hopefully put into practice uh, on the pitch. I know you've only been here for a couple of days, but does the energy feel different at all? Yeah, obviously changed a lot of things, a lot more detail in terms of tactics and things like that, but I can only be good. It's going gonna, it's gonna to take a little bit of time to kind of embed its, its way into us and for every single person in the squad to know what's expected in every moment of the game and in every aspect. But uh, yeah, it's like, like you say, it's, it's a new dawn and it's a new, a new chance for a lot of players to impress and to improve and uh, hopefully get, get some good times ahead for us. Now you're one of the very few players who have had first-hand experiences of working with Craig Bellamy recently at Burnley, of course. First question, how many questions have you had from your teammates about what it's like to work with him? Yeah, every, every single person How many texts that knows, have you had? <laughs> yeah, loads, obviously, and even up until literally in, in the last two training sessions, they, a few of the boys have asked me questions about maybe like what is expected of them or what the gaffer said and he, they haven't really understood it properly. They, they've come to me because obviously they know that I've worked with him for, for quite a while now. So it, honestly, it's nice to kind of know that you are halfway there with, with the messages and with understanding what, what is expected. And uh, that can only be good for, for myself and for, I think, the manager and the staff that there's one less person to kind of worry about. But uh, we've all got a lot of learning to do and we've all got a lot of meetings to attend and, you know, brain work to put in kind of thing. And we all need to plug into that because that's the only way that we're going to be a really good football team is if we do that. OK, so you've kind of turned into the, the middleman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Um, not, not massively, but obviously I know I've heard the messages hundreds of times before so I kind of when when the meetings are going on I know basically what he's going to he's going to say next and and yeah if, if I was to ever ask questions on it I would probably know most of the answers to be honest. Describe what it's like to work with Craig Bellamy in one word. Intense, exciting and not what a lot of people would expect to be honest. I think Contrary to popular belief, he, is <laughs> he isn't what he used to be like when he was a player. Obviously, I think he's understood that he needs to maybe change slightly and to kind of a bit more arm around the shoulder type of person as opposed to digging people out. But uh, yeah, he's been brilliant at Burnley. And I just said next door that it's a, it's a credit that every player that has worked under him at Burnley speaks really highly of him and thinks that, that he's a fantastic human being first and foremost as well as being a, a brilliant coach and a coach that just wants to be immersed in football and to be the best that he can and help every single person every single player around him so yeah, yeah you make a really interesting point there because of course we're all really familiar with bellamy the player but bellamy the head coach there's a sense of the unknown but Anyone who's watched the Burnley documentary, it was interesting to see Bellamy was actually the calming influence yeah. on Vincent Company, which would have surprised a few people, it's fair to say. Yeah, it would have. I think, obviously, I can't speak. I would never played with, with the boss, but there's a couple in this squad who did, and maybe as time goes on, they can obviously compare the two and stuff. But I don't think from what I've seen and what I've heard that he's anything like what he used to be like. I think the, the passion, the intensity, the the will to win and the will to improve is obviously still there, but he's not a player. He's he's the manager now and he's a coach, so obviously people change and, and things that, that come out of their mouths and the way they act is obviously going to be different. What's he like when he's at the side of the pitch during a game? Really calm, really collected. I think the way that he wants us to be on the pitch as well, it, it, it's hard, you have to get that balance between being intense and being full of energy, but also being calm and collected and not, you know, not making mistakes, no one tries to make mistakes, but not making mistakes and, and kind of picking, picking the correct passes and things like that. So, 
yeah, slightly different to when he was probably on the pitch again, but I'm excited to see exactly, to be honest, like if he wears a suit or not. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm excited to see what, what kind of messages are, are coming from, from the sidelines. Okay, I'm going to ask him that when yeah, I talk him, to him yeah. on Thursday. Connor wants to know what you're going to wear. <laughs> um, in terms of the players, like you said, there have been a lot of meeting, a lot of things to take on board. How difficult is that when you don't have that much time before the first game on Friday? We don't, but that's no excuse. I think everyone knows, and I've kind of told everyone that's asked me, there's going to be a lot of meetings, there's going to be a lot of information, and you need to do your absolute best to, to click on and, and to learn and to listen to every single detail. And it's not going to all go in at once, but eventually it will. If you keep hearing the same messages over and over and over again, they will go in and uh, that's what it's going to be like for, well, has been already and will be until Friday night and furthermore. So yeah, I think as long as every single player in this squad taps into that and understands that there's going to be a few more meetings, they're going to be a little bit longer and I'm going to have to listen, like being in school, then we'll be all right. I've heard the term non-negotiables being said quite a few times now. Yeah. What are Craig Bellamy's non-negotiables? There's quite a few, to be honest. I think hard work, dedication, passion, all those things that, like you say, they're, no they're nothing to do with making mistakes, they're nothing to do with tactics or you know, your passes or your shots or whatever you want to say. It's just hard work and competing, basically. So we want to be a competitive nation for furthermore, and uh, not that we haven't been, but we need to up that and we need to start qualifying for, for major tournaments when I'm gone, when maybe the, the, the boss is gone, but we need to keep on improving as a nation and improving as a group of players and eventually going to big tournaments, playing in big games. We need to be, we need to look like we really, we really mean to be there and go even further than, than we ever have before. I think it's fair to say everyone's really intrigued to see what he does with the players that he has. On Friday night, what do you think we can expect? Harry Wilson's just used the word risk. Do you think we're gonna, yeah, what do you think we're gonna see? Calculated risk maybe, very similar to how I played at Burnley and it is, yeah, obviously there is an element of risk to it, but high risk, high reward is the, is the saying and uh, I think it is exciting. It is, there's a lot of players who have come from maybe environments that it isn't quite like that. It is a case of take as least risk as possible, but um, yeah, there will be risks and sometimes they pay off, sometimes they don't, but uh, I can assure you that every single player in that in that dressing room and in this squad will will understand what's required of them and going forward hopefully we can put into practice. And finally for you personally, Connor, how do you view this next chapter wearing that whale shirt? Like you say, I'm very excited to be honest. I think I want to be a part of something special again. I've been a part of some brilliant nights in in a whale shirt. I've been to two major major tournaments, a World Cup, all things like that, but that means nothing. I hope in the future we can go to more, we can compete even more, and uh, yeah, we all, wanna, we all wanna do it together, and like you say, everyone, everyone in here, everyone in this hotel, in this setup is, is vying for, for one thing, and that is success as, as a football team.